Hey, Azura, did you know that in the U.S., if you say, I'm going to the bar, they'll think you're going to drink alcohol? Really? In Italy, bars are where you drink coffee, cappuccino, and eat pastries, croissants, ice cream, chocolate treats. Azura, stop. What? Ciao. Today, we are going to be talking about coffee. First of all, let me start off by saying that if an Italian orders an espresso in an Italian cafe, bar. in an Italian bar, they will just order un caffè per favore, a coffee please. If you want a brewed kind of coffee, you would have to ask for a caffè americano instead. Literally, an American coffee. If you're American, you might want to ask for a tazza grande, a big cup. They will give you a cup like this one. Even though it's the biggest cup, it'll never be close to what Americans are used to. To give you a perspective, this is the cup an espresso is served in. Should we tell them about the different types of espressos there are? Yes, that's a great idea. These are the main kinds of espresso. Caffè, a regular espresso. Ristretto, short. The barista turns off the coffee machine almost immediately. It's an extra concentrated coffee shot that doesn't even fill half of the cup. Lungo, long. The barista puts more water in the coffee. This means the tiny cup is almost full. Macchiato caldo. Macchia means spot, so this coffee is literally with spots of hot milk. Macchiato freddo. It's the same as macchiato caldo, but with cold milk instead of hot milk. Caffè corretto. Corrected coffee has liquor poured into it. Cappuccino. We don't even have to explain what this is, but you do need to know that this is a breakfast coffee, not a dessert. If you go to Italy and order a cappuccino after 11 in the morning, you officially qualify yourself as a tourist. And last but not least, marocchino. Marocchino is cappuccino's little brother. It's espresso with hot milk, foam, and cocoa, but in a smaller cup. No, like this one. Now here is how most Italians prepare their coffee at home, with a mocha. In Italy, this is the best way to make a coffee similar to an espresso. In every home, you will find at least one mocha pot. Many Italians even bring one with them when they travel abroad. It's easy. You first put water in here, then the filter, add coffee, and close it really tightly. You then put it on the stove until the coffee is leaking out of these holes. A quick dessert is a fogato al caffè, ice cream drowned in coffee. You put some vanilla ice cream in a cup and pour coffee from a mocha pot on top of it. Have it immediately. The hot coffee will melt your ice cream and your heart. It's easy. You first put water in here, then the filter, add the coffee, and close it really tightly. Look at that! Do you want Rubik's Cube? Nice.